Hello everybody. Uh, today is Sunday, January the 10th, 2016. We have moon in Aquarius today. So yesterday we had the new moon and that was in the earth sign of Capricorn. And today we go into moon in Aquarius, which is an air sign. And it's really all about the mind. And I was speaking about from the new moon reading, uh, going within and getting really focused on visualizing what it is that you wanted to manifest because new moon energy is all about setting your intentions or making a plan of what you would like to manifest, which requires going within and visualizing. So Capricorn energy is earth plain energy and very good with material uh, manifesting on the material plane and Aquarius is very much in the mind and in the visualization process and, and visualizing and being a visionary and having a vision that you would like to manifest. So um, consult a, an astrology website because there are times during the new moon, the day of and the day after where the there's a window of time that's open that's really, really good for specifically uh, manifesting with setting your intentions and putting those things out there. But even if you don't get a, a specific time frame, you know, do it anyway, write, write in your journal um, and uh, keep a list of things that may come to your consciousness that may pop into your mind. Um, I think that the Capricorn and Aquarius energy combined are really powerful energies for manifesting. And uh, also um, I discussed the Mercury retrograde, which is all about reassessing, reevaluating, uh, redoing, and then relaxing, relaxing, recharging, uh, restorative, uh, activities like yoga and meditation and catching up on your sleep and keep a dream journal. Things may come to you in your dreams. And uh, so really focus on those things uh, today. Continue with the um, theme of the uh, new moon video. I'm going to stick with the fairies. So we have the beautiful healing with the fairies oracle cards. And today I'm going to go back to using a tarot deck. And we have the beautiful fairy tarot cards. So these are Doreen Virtue decks. And I'm just going to do a short video today. I've been guided to pick one of each. So for the energy of Sunday, January the 10th, 20, 2016. Wow, 2016, you guys. How powerful. 2016 is a nine in numerology. And that's a number of completion and spirituality and so we're kicking off the new year right with this new moon energy of being able to revise reassess visualize and uh get it get it good from get it i was gonna say get it right get it right from the get-go um so eight of spring um spring would be the suit of wands or the fire energy in this tarot deck. Stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successful multitasking. Sudden events or changes. And um, Eight of Spring, the Eight of Wands is a card of fast moving energy and things coming together all at once. And also an energy of passion and um, it's a card about uh, communication, swift communication, swiftly. It's like when you've been working on a project and it's going kind of slowly, then something like maybe a person drops off the team and you get a new team member and all of a sudden it comes together right away. That's the example that's coming to my mind. It's like, you know, plugging away at something, you've gotten to the eight and it hasn't, you know, it's been slow and steady. And then something happens and it's almost like alchemy. Some new chemical reaction happens and it all comes together very swiftly. Kind of, it's not a surprise like it's out of nowhere, but it's it's swift nonetheless. And in, this may be um, 
some communication comes through for you today or a visitor arrives or like I said maybe it's like being on a team and one person drops off and one person you know the new person the fresh energy really pushes the the project into high gear so this is about amping it up um, we're also in uh, mercury retrograde so stress that comes from having many things happening at once this is also reminding you to pause and reflect and rest and relax and rejuvenate and maybe reassess a project while you're in this mercury retrograde energy and it is Sunday so relax it's Sunday even if you do have to work go with the relaxation the resting the you know pause and think about things be a little extra be a little extra thoughtful today is what they're telling me especially with the moon in Aquarius Aquarius can get kind of spacey the energy you can get kind of absent-minded so make sure that you're really tuning in and and staying sharp with your thoughts when things start to happen really quickly it's easy to get lose track of things so pay attention today and then the uh, fairies card is parenting and children so if you can see there's a little baby fairy almost looks like a little hummingbird flying up in to greet the mother fairy and um so the message, the spring, the fire energy is kind of youthful and creative um, and uh, parenting and children. So I'm trying to uh, formulate a message that isn't specifically for parents with children because I don't think it's about that. I think it's about, well, they're saying because of the Mercury retrograde, it's about nurturing yourself and going in and parenting your inner child. If you're not an actual parent, and even if you are an actual parent, it's more about parenting your inner child during this Mercury retrograde situation and going into a more receptive mode, a more relaxed mode where you can access and um, nurture some of those childlike qualities that are very excited, creative, and passionate. And on a Sunday, especially if you don't work on a Sunday, it's a really good time to get re recharged and reacquainted with that energy. And if you do have children, definitely use them as a tool to help you get acquainted, get acquainted with your inner child. Um, before I finish the video, I just really like to uh, read from the guidebook uh, for a little more insight on to how to either work with your inner child or how to maximize your parenting uh, stuff today. That's the most uh, the most productive for everybody, yourself and your children, included during this Mercury retrograde. A positive change is occurring for you in the area of parenting. An unexpected occurrence will herald a happy outcome between you and a parent, a child, or both. So that's kind of what this is. It's like an unexpected occurrence. It's like this fresh, fast-moving energy that vroom, comes in really fast. Um, and I'm hearing keep it playful. The energy will most likely um, engage your... Um, your play. It'll engage your sense of play today. So remember to play, especially if you are a parent with a child, get out in nature if, if the weather is good enough and play. Um, the affirmation is, I have happy parent and child relationships. I allow my heart to open up so that I can feel compassion and love for all members of my family, which compassion starts with you. Uh, it starts in your heart. And again, this is the eight of fire. This is a fire energy and it's about a quick and swift action. So maybe something will happen today, whether it involves other people or not, where your heart just opens up and you feel a real passion and a feel uh, a passion and a compassion from your heart center today. So I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. Um, if you would like to book a private session with me, please email me at racincula at gmail.com and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.